let us try to understand one more combinational circuit known as the multiplexer. What is a multiplexer? A multiplexer is a digital circuit, a combinational logic circuit which has got 2 to the power n input lines, 2 to the power n input lines, this n number of select lines and only one output line. Based on the index what we place on these n number of select lines, there is a connection established between the output and the input channel whose index we have placed on the select lines. That is how a multiplexer works. In other words, based on the binary index on the select lines, a corresponding input line or we can also call it as an input channel gets connected to the output line. This is just like a digital switch. We can have a 2 is to 1 multiplexer where 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 input line. So, a 2 is to 1 multiplexer will have 2 input lines, 1 select line and 1 output line. If we go to a 4 is to 1 multiplexer, 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2. So, 2 is here in the place of n. So, for a 4 is to 1 multiplexer, there will be 4 input lines, 2 select lines and only 1 output line. Like that we can go on writing the number of inputs 2 to the power n input. If I consider a 32 is to 1 multiplexer, how many select lines will this circuit require? 32 can be written as 2 to the power 5. So, a 32 is to 1 multiplexer will have 32 input lines, 5 select lines and only one output line. Like that you can go on generating multiplexer circuit which has got 2 to the power n input line, n select line and only one output line. So, let us try to write the functional table, the logic expression and a logic circuit for a multiplexer. So, this is the representation how a multiplexer works. Whatever index you place at the select line at this point, it will try to switch with D0, D1, D2 or D3 and establish a link between the output and one of the input lines whose index we place on the select lines. This is the representation of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 2 input lines, 1 output line, 2 to the power 1, that 1 is here, 1 number of select line, only 1 select line. Now, if I increase this input from 2 to 4, so D0, D1, D2, D3, so there are 4 input lines, this should have 2 to the power 2. So, that power 2 is here, 2 select lines and only one output line, whatever index. If you place a 0, 0 here, this D naught will get linked, get connected to Y. If you place 0, 1, 0, 1 means it is 1. So, D 1 will get connected with Y. All others are open circuited. You may place 1, you may place 0 on D naught. But you may place 0 here on D1. When you give 0, 1 here, this data present on D1 will appear at Y. Same is true with the 2 is to 1 multiplexer also. If you give 1 and 0 here on the data, whatever may be the data on the input line, only that data will appear at output based on the index what we are placing on the select line. So, if I place a 0 on this select line, D naught channel will get connected to Y. If D naught was 0, Y will be 0. If D naught is 1, Y has to be 1. 
whatever may be the data on D1 that cannot pass through and reach the output. So that is why a multiplexer is called as a digital switch, it is a digital controlled switch. Now, so these are the functional table describing a two channel input, two is to one multiplexer. This is four is to one multiplexer. This is eight is to one multiplexer. See here, how did I decide this is a two is to one multiplexer? There is only one select line. So two to the power one means two, two input, only one output and one select line. What is this indicating? If the select line consists a zero as the input, then D naught will be linked to Y. If the select line is one, then D one will be linked to Y. So the output equation Y in terms of yes, uh, S naught and D naught D one can be represented as if output is Y, we will take the min term representation. So, 0 in S naught means S naught bar, D naught in Y. So, these both are AND operation. Or if I have placed 1 on S naught, so again the min term representation is S naught dot D 1. So, Y can be represented in this form. Again, if I ask you to write a data flow description of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer, you are simply going to put assign y is equal to s naught bar d naught plus s naught d 1 as the equation and then if you synthesize your HDL code, you will have a net list representing that of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Similarly, here this is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer because there are two select lines. Two select lines means two raised to the power two, which is four. That's why I can straight away conclude it should have one, two, three, four input lines. So if both S1 and S0 are zero, zero, zero represents D0 channel. So Y will simply establish a connection with D0 input channel. If you place an index of 0, 1 on S1 and S0, so it is like commanding the digital switch to link the output Y with input channel D1. If you have placed 1, 0 on the select line S1, S0, 1, 0 is like a command to the digital switch to establish a connection between the output line Y and input channel D2. If you have placed 1, 1, you are commanding the switch to make a connection between Y and D3. Again, the min term representation 0, 0 means S1 bar, S0 bar, D0. That will represent the link between Y and D0. Henceforth, you can move further and complete the equation for Y. This is for a 8 is to 1 multiplexer because there are three select lines, 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 input lines and 3 select lines and 1 output line. So this is the function table and the logical equation of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 4 is to 1 multiplexer and 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Again, you can transform the logic equation into a logic circuit. Wherever we find AND operation, you put an AND gate. Wherever there is an inversion or the inverted form of variable, you need to pass that true variable through a NOT gate or an inverter, thereby make appropriate connections with D0, D1, D2, D3, S1, S0 or S0 bar and S1 bar wherever required connect that to an OR gate because in the previous expression we have seen that Y is the sum of what product terms. We have product terms generated in the first place and they are ORD SOP. 
this is also an SOP form. We have the products being generated, the product terms are now called. This is again the SOP form. So that's why we have AND operation in the first place followed by OR operation at the end. So this is the circuit for a 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Like that we can go on writing the logical circuit for the Y expression of the various multiplexers. Here we have specifically chosen a 4 is to 1 multiplexer. The procedure is same, you need to follow these function tables. Whatever index is being placed at S1 and S0 or in this place it is S2, S1 and S0, that corresponding channel should be making a connection with Y. And then you are transforming this function table into a logical equation of SOPs. Now we can ask you to write the structural model. If you remember the circuit, you can write the structural description of a 4 to 1 multiplexer by defining the components of AND, OR and NOT and pass respective variables of D0, D1, D2, S1, S0 into these components and finally get the parameters uh, coming out of these AND gates to an OR gate component and hence you will have a design synthesized for the 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Again what are the roles of multiplexers and demultiplexers? Again we will extensively use multiplexers and demultiplexers inside the communication channels or the buses with the processors. So, they are used in communication systems for channel selections for data transmission. So, both inside the processor, the data communication within the processor, within different buses as well as the external transmitter receiver communication, we make use of multiplexers and demultiplexers. We will now try to write the code, HDL code for a multiplexer. 